Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm very excited because I have a couple of new products from Mecca Makeup and uh, or Makeup Mecca that's a Norwegian brand, a cream bronzer, cream blushes, new lipsticks, liquid eyeshadows and also brand new mirror. This is a cardboard it's a stunning. So if you want to see me trying out these products, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys, I need to show you this. This is a mirror. You open it like this. There is the mirror. And you can, wait, can't do that with one hand. Place it like it and you have a mirror. Beautiful. It's really nice. You can hold it like this. You can hold it like this. You can... I'm showing you, but you, oh, it's outside the camera. So I really like this mirror. I think it's beautiful. And I'm going to put the links and information price down below. This is affordable brand and very nice. I do like plenty of their products I use daily. But I am going to try these new products and I'm very, very excited. I do have oily skin, so I don't usually prefer liquid or um, cream products because I look very oily during the day but I've been trying them more and more these couple of weeks because it's a trend and I always want to be part of it so I think it looks more natural but I do love full coverage makeup. Today I'm wearing a new foundation that is going to be on my channel. I don't remember it's going to be before this one or after this video but I'm going to put the information down below if you want to see that review um i think that video will be before this one so i will stop. May remember to put a card or information down below but i'm having new foundation because i do have a foundation for makeup makeup but unfortunately that foundation didn't really work for me so i'm uh, waiting for them to release a new one to try out but i'm here i have plenty of products from them that i use daily so we are going to use as much of their product as possible today. So let's just start. Mirror is here and I'm definitely going to use that mirror. You can even hold it like this. I mean, it's a beautiful mirror. But I didn't even set my concealer. I actually went in with the Joy Beauty's concealer. Um, so I am going to set everything, or not everything, but my under eyes. I do have to because they're creasing. And I'm going to go in with the Makeup Mecca's What's Cooking Good Looking uh, Powder. This is the in, I think it's translucent. Yes, it is. So I'm going to use that with a fluffier brush ju just to set my under eyes a little bit because we are going to use cream products. That's everything. I do like this po product though, um, the powder. It's nice. They do have also a new satin looking glowy powder pressed powder for the face and it looks nice but i didn't order that okay bronzer i love cream products and i love cream bronzers so they released a new cream bronzer this is quality approved and this by makeup Ma makeup mecca and it's a they have only one shade so i don't know how many uh, skin tones can use it. It look, looks like this. It looks more orange on camera than it is in real life. Let's just try it. It feels kind of oily. You can build it up to be, you know, dark, but I wish they kind of released a deeper shade too. Hopefully they, they will think about all of the skin tones. I mean, if this is more for light, fair light to medium skin tones, they should definitely go a little bit darker to create a deeper shade. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. It's a little bit dirty from the foundation, but let's just go in with it. And I tried, oh, oh, poop, that, this is pigmented. This is pigmented, we are just going. So it's blending nice. It's blending nice. I like that. I did went a little bit crazy in, but it's blending nice. It's a nice shade, kind of warm shade. 
it's blending really really nice and it's not removing my foundation that's big plus i was scared that it's going to remove my foundation but definitely does not the bronzing is nice it's blending beautifully i really like it just wish it was a deeper and maybe a more cold shade so maybe they should put more shades out there so you can you know choose this is more like a warm shade but i will maybe prefer if it was a little bit more on natural neutral kind of side because i prefer that but it's not bad i'm definitely going to use it if it lasts as long and if it looks this good i will definitely use it then we have cream blushes and they are so cute this is for cheek lips and eyes well i'm not going to put it on my eyes because i do have two shades of their cream eyeshadows that i'm going to try out but this is in shade fruit punch so i know let's see if we can this is a fruit punch it's more of that burgundy shade this is ah, beautiful cute shade i really like the shades i'm seeing the girl i don't remember what her name um using this with a brush and it looked very nice so i'm going to try that this is the squeeze the day shade that's more on um, orangey nude i mean they are not too oily which is nice it looks like this they have like a satin finish to them so they are not mad i really like this shade maybe i should use this one it looks cute i like that and then we have third shade rosy cheek Oh, rosy cheek that like looks sounds good maybe we should go with the rosy cheek now i'm going to go in with this in the center because i usually go always for these kind of pinks beautiful shade i like all three shades uh, so let's go in with the second shade squeeze squeeze the day like that i'm going to use this kind of brush and Wait, I need the mirror. I need the mirror. I got the powder all over the mirror. That's nice. Okay, so. It goes on nice, guys. It goes on very nice. It's a beautiful shade. And it gives me like a... Um, a little bit glowy cheeks which I usually don't prefer because I have oily t-zone but also pores but I mean it doesn't let's try it with a finger too see if it's going on with a finger well I prefer finger more than a brush it goes on very nice I like this shade this is a very cute shade very neutral and it's not removing the foundation so that's really good oh i like that this is a very cute shade and if you can see it but it just gave me that nice warmth to the skin i like it a lot i like the i love the blush the blush is really really good it's not showing as much on the cheeks uh, because it's that kind of the shade that's more natural peachy orangey peachy shade with definitely with a glow but it's not too much you know it doesn't look like a highlight it just looks pretty good like a natural glow i think i said that like hundred of times and i build it up and it doesn't feel heavy doesn't look heavy and still didn't remove my foundation really like the cream bl blushes they are really really nice let's see if we can blend this deepest shade just to see how yes beautiful it really blends beautifully but i still feel like all three shades blend beautifully i just feel like they should release a deeper shade for all skin tones so everybody can try their product because they are really nice it's a really nice brand i just am disappointed they don't have shades for everybody but that's this is cute i really like it really like it and i do want to go in the with the liquid highlighter but this is one that this one i already reviewed on my channel months ago i think uh, this is in shade luna 
and it's a really really good highlight I've been wearing it a lot a lot and uh, it kind of gathers a little bit so, but you know you need to shake it very good okay so my face looks really good I love it but we are going to even uh, fix the eyebrows I do have this from Ma makeup mecca this is brow sand fleek and this is in shade dark I think it's a little bit too dark for me, but I still love it and it's a beautiful beautiful pen so easy to use and it's one of my favorite it lasts all day uh, the shade is a little bit too deep for me, but I still use it uh, sparely and you just press it very soft make the, these natural eyebrows Okay, I can never make my eyebrows to be to look same, but they are on. Okay, so right now I'm going to go in with the liquid liquid eyeshadows. I have two shades. I have very oily eyelids, so I don't usually use liquid liquid eyeshadows. I tried neither of those that I tried to work but I still really like the shades I have the matte one that's in co that's called uh, wifey wifey and then I have a shimmery one that's called goldie this is the vegan too uh, the brand is vegan um, just want to show that because it says vegan in a heart down here so I'm going to try it I did set my eye my eyes with the wet and wild eyeshadow base but I also used just just a dot of a powder because I need that. So let's go in with this. I'm going to go and just apply this matte. Is it matte? Yes. All over the eyelid and we are going to blend it. Mm, could be a mistake, but I'm going to use the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush uh, 32. Let's see how this is going to... Oh, we definitely applied a lot, but let's blend it. Oh my God, look at this shade, guys. This is a beautiful shade. If you lo love liquid eyeshadows, maybe this is for you. But it looks stunning. I'm in love with this shade. I really hope, where's that brush? I really hope this won't crease too much because, oh my God, I wish I could use this every day. Just going in with this beautiful uh, Sosa and Kayla brush number 03. That's like a small blending brush. Just love that for the edges. Oh my God, look at that. I don't know, does it crease? Maybe a little bit here. We just take time to dry. It doesn't feel heavy. I applied a lot, guys, but it doesn't feel heavy. It just looks very nice. I am going to go in uh, with this um, shimmery one, um, Goldie. And I am going to apply this on my hand yes we are going to do that and i am going to go in with a brush I'm going to go over number 11 damp it take a little bit on the brush and just try to apply apply on the lid oh wow you can of course use the applicator to go in with this directly on the eye but i don't want to have too much on but look at that glow, that's stunning. This is fast. It feels cold and wet, like creamy eyeshadows do. It's not creasing right now, but we'll see how it's going to go. Uh, I like it, I like it a lot. I really, really like it. If this will last me, I will buy all of the shades because it's so easy to use, so easy to blend. You've seen it and I just hope for my oily eyelids, oily, oily eyelids that this will at least last a couple of hours because usually 
it doesn't but that's what we have that's what we are going to use i am also going to use their mascara i tried this mascara before i think they have a new version that i didn't got uh it's not my favorite but it's nothing that i reach for because i like want my eyelashes to look very long this is the so long I forgot to apply the eyeshadow on the, my lower lash line. I need to do that. This is the interesting, interesting mascara wand. So it's, it's a nice mascara. I just don't use it. Yeah, now I remember. It doesn't hold my curl when I curl my lashes up, and also it's very liquidy. That's the reason I don't use it because it unfortunately transforms on my. And I speak, but I want to use it on this in this video because we are using makeup makeup. It's not a bad bad mascara. It's not the worst, but if you like this kind of natural looking lash lashes, go for it. I just want want my eyelashes to look more, you know, fluffier out there. I do want to go in with a smaller brush with this um, matte eyeshadow on my lower lash line because I um, I forgot that. I forgot that. How could I forget that? But I do like this eye look. I mean, I do really like it. Um, I love the I love the creamy eyeshadows. Really like them a lot. So beginner friendly. <laughs> look at my hand. It's it's a mess. Okay. Now we go for the last product I have to try today. It's uh, their new uh, lipsticks. I have all five shades. This is the packaging. They are like, like a sheer coverage or like a balmy lipsticks. I have it in shade Elegant. I'm going to swatch all of them on my lips for you guys. Elegant looks like this, like a pinkish shade. So let's try it. doesn't go with this makeup look but it's a nice shade let's watch it here if you can see it yeah maybe it is like a bomb it's very soft there's the shade it looks nice on the lips pink beautiful for the summer i like that shade the second shade we're going to try is the sensual and it's this nice nude shade let's go with this Oh, I like this shade. It's like my lips, a little bit lighter, but... It's cute. Let's um, swatch it here. Mm, this is in Sensual. It's cute nude shade, nude pink. Still doesn't go with this makeup look, but it's cute. I mean, this lip swatch is comfortable because they are very balmy and um, uh, soft and nice moisturizing on the lips. I just wish they had you know, the shade on the packaging so I don't need to open them every time I need to look at the shade. This is called Naked. A little bit darker nude, maybe, I don't know. I'm more like orange. Oh, this will go with my makeup eye look kind of reminds me of the eyeshadow like orange nude this is cute i'd like this one it's similar to the second shade here but it's more nude brown very comfortable very comfortable Okay, we have two more shades. This is the shade Newbie. And it's this kind of shade. Like a brick shade, more on the warmer red, brown red shade. I like this shade too. Oh my God, look at the swatch, so bad. Don't mind the swatch. Let's swatch it. Cute. 
nice shade. I mean, very nice summery shade. Spring, summer, newbie. That's, that was newbie. Okay, we have the last shade. This is the shade Lovely. This looks like to be very bright. Nice orange red shade. Let's see. Mm, definitely bright. Oh, I love this shade. Mm, a little bit streaky, this shade, but I mean, yeah, if you go with finger or rub your lips together, you will definitely, you know, kind of spread it more even. But I do like this shade. This is like a happy shade, you know, very spring, beautiful shade. So let's go with the lovely. And that's the last shade. Very nice, rosy, kind of nude shades balmy lipstick i do like them i'm definitely going to wear them i think they are very beautiful very nice and soft on the lips and uh, i don't i think they will fade beautifully i mean it's not bad i do want to go in with the other shade that i used before tried before but i do want to go in with the lip liner and i'm going to go in with rebecca stella's number eight lip liner that's the dark brown shade My lips are not easy to line because it's not even, so it just looks weird. So we are going to go in with Naked and just apply it on the top. It was very nice on with this lip liner. Mm, I love the shade even more with the lip liner. So that's all of the products that we use today from this brand, Makeup Makeup Mecca. I do really like it. It looks very nice, healthy, natural, but the glowy kind of, um, I don't know, makeup. <laughs> it looks very natural and beautiful. I do like it. I don't like the eyel eyelashes or the mascara because I just prefer my lashes more thick, longer, uh, but this is like for every day if you already have long lashes and you just want to give them more color and separate them a little bit so definitely go with that i really like the liquid eyeshadows i really hope this will stay at least a couple of hours because these two shades especially uh, this nude oh my god stunning stunning i love love this so far I uh, love the lipsticks, love the blushes. Oh my god, the blush is so damn cute. Definitely going to continue wearing them. Very nice. I love the bronzer too. Uh, together with this makeup, it kind of goes together. I wish and I hope they will release more shades, deeper shades and also more on the cold side. I really hope. I do have another one that I didn't try that's a little bit powdery. Uh, blush from this brand but it has a little bit of shimmer and I usually like that I like more matte like bronzers but I didn't try it and maybe I should in a video I just didn't want to go in with it today because I wanted to use cream products but this is the full face with cream products and it looks kind of nice really really nice I like it I like it so I'm going to end this video here uh, I really like I'm going to put the link down below check out this brand it's a beautiful brand a affordable brand they'll release new products all the time they really think about their packaging it's very nice sleek I like this nude kind of uh, shade uh, I just wish they had the shades you know stickers that I could see the shade I don't need to open it every time I want to use it that's like a bummer but otherwise liquid highlighters bronzer blushes eyeshadows are phenomenal i definitely recommend them that's everything guys let me know down below what you think about this makeup look is it something that you find interesting would you like to try something if i will put a giveaway and include this brand what would you like to have in that give you giveaway please let me know, know down below because i'm i already have a ton of products for giveaways two giveaways actually but i do want to put new releases in so let me know down below what you would like from this brand i'm very curious to know but this is my makeup today i really like it it looks very natural natural glow 
and I am very happy with the products. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please like this video and uh, I see you in my next one. Bye guys.